Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. This is a special coverage we are doing. We are live here anchoring our newscast outside the Ronald Reagan Library, where the CNN G Republican presidential debate will be on tonight. Let's get started. Can Donald Trump stay on top at CNN debate? Donald Trump is barreling into tonight's CNN debate with more than a dozen other candidates aiming to slow the billionaire businessman's juggernaut and break through the cluttered field. Lawmakers pass budget bill to end settlement. The settlement over the state budget ended Wednesday as Governor Maggie Hassan signed a budget agreement. Donald Trump becoming president would be great, Tom Brady says. New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady thinks it's would be great if Donald Trump were elected president. Stolen 2004 Red Sox World Series ring found during drug raid. Police conducted a raid at a suspected drug dealer's home south of Boston made an unusual discovery, a stolen 2014 Red Sox Series ring. Auburn man accused of pulling knife on another driver. Londonderry police arrested a man in connection with a road rage incident earlier this week. West Nile virus detected in New Hampshire mosquitoes for the first time this Season. A mosquito pool in New Hampshire has tested positive for West Nile virus. Two arrested in connection with armed robberies in Nashua. Nashua police made two arrests in connection with two armed robberies in the city last week. Student 14 struck outside Spaudling High School in Rochester. A 14-year-old student was struck by a car outside Spaudling High School in Rochester on Wednesday morning. Johnny Depp raises eyebrows with comments about Whitey Bulger. The story of James Whitey Bulger hit theaters nationwide this week. But comments actor Johnny Depp made about the Notation Boston mob boss is raising eyebrows. Mystery Hampton ghost ship destroyed. The 75-foot ship that Mr. Lee washed up along the Hampton March nearly two years ago has been demolished. New Hampshire Supreme Court to hear appeal of Plastow man convicted of child abuse. New Hampshire Supreme Court is scheduled to hear the appeal of a Plastow man convicted for severely beating his girlfriend's three-year-old. Sorry about that, guys. Hold on. Governor, state Republicans reach budget composure. After months of back-and-forth negotiations and two budget votes by Governor Maggie Hassan, 
state Republican lawmakers and the governor's office have reached a tentative budget deal. Electronics generator of the item stolen from Goffstown Church. Goffstown police are investigating the burglary of a church Tuesday morning. And that's your news for the Riley King Newscast, reporting live here outside the Reagan Library. I'm Riley King for the Riley King Newscast. See you later. Bye, everyone.